Thank you for joining me on my Axie Infinity case study, also known as the worst case of FOMO you'll ever see, or in my girlfriend's opinion, how I spent $3,000 playing Pokemon online. Now, most of my investments are alternative. I do a lot of uh, content websites and YouTube channels, but you can't really talk about alternative investments without covering cryptocurrency. Um, now, I've had my eye on the NFT market for the past couple of weeks, as a lot of people have. And it's largely an area I just don't understand. You have things like this, which is called the Etherock. Uh, pictures of rocks in different shades have sold for more than my house is worth. I don't really know what to make of that. Um, I've never been into artwork and I know there's, there's more to it and there's an argument for uh, artwork NFTs and profile picture NFTs, but Generally, I won't invest in something I don't understand. Now, I won't pretend to fully understand Axie, but yeah, I've got no defense for this except for, yeah, FOMO. So what is Axie Infinity? So Axie Infinity makes a lot more sense to me. Uh, when I was a student, I was a gamer. The first online money I ever made was buying and selling game currency and accounts and items. With Axie Infinity, that's actually part of the game. So all of the items and characters within the game are NFTs that can be bought and sold. The game also has two um, different tokens on the Ethereum network. Now, I'm not gonna get too much into the tech side of things for Axie. Um, a lot of people have already done that better than I can. I look at it purely as an investor. I'm also not gonna get too much into the game side of things because while I would like to spend several hours a day playing, um, that's just, I don't have the time, unfortunately. Um, I've played a little bit of the game just to get a, a basic understanding of my investment. At least that's what I tell my girlfriend. But um, I can show you a wee bit of it here. So this is inside the game client itself. Uh, you'll notice these bright colored uh, creatures here. These are called axes. Each one of them is an NFT in themselves. You need a team of three to be able to play the game. These guys cost me about uh, $900 all in, maybe a little bit more. And uh, I can send them into the game itself um, in order to farm this here, which is one of the tokens. So Axie has been hitting the news quite a lot recently as a play to earn game. And you have people who play the game, farm the tokens and sell it for US dollars, wonderful. Um, I'll show you briefly here, but I'm not gonna play through the whole game because again, that's not what I think the best investment, uh, best return is going to come at the moment. So the game itself is a turn-based card game. Um, you can see my axes are here. Each one of them gets a selection of cards based on the quality of the NFT, kind of. Uh, play a couple of cards here. They'll do damage to the other team. And if I win, I get a portion of SLP, which I can then use within the game or I can sell. So that's, that's the basic of the game itself. Um, now we're gonna look at the more interesting thing, which is how to actually make money with Axie. So this is the part of the game that interests me. This is the Axie Infinity Marketplace. Uh, you can see why it's been in the news so much recently. That's uh, $13 million traded in the last 24 hours. You can see here the Axie is being listed and being sold. Um, the prices range a bit depending on the quality of the NFT and its cryptocurrency. So the prices range all the time. You can see in the last couple of minutes here, uh, $240 for that one, 246, 161, 188, uh, 308, 151. Um, the price for the NFT varies depending on how useful they are within the game. That's, that's the biggest driver for the price. Um, the ones I bought were roughly $250 to $300 each. Um, price is obviously going to fluctuate quite a lot though. So I can show you my account here at the moment. Um, so there's a couple of ways you can make money with an Axie Infinity. Uh, up here we have the tokens uh, AXS and SLP, or Smooth Love Potion. Um, like any cryptocurrency, if you think the game is going to continue to grow and the price of the tokens will increase, you can buy and hold these coins. The developers are also talking about staking in the future. 
Um, you could play the game, like I showed you before with the card game, you can play that, you can be rewarded with SLP, which you can then trade for um, Ethereum or actual fiat currency. Um, much like CryptoPunks or any kind of NFT, if you think the game is going to continue to grow and the NFTs will be more valuable, you can also buy NFTs and hold them. So these here are my axes at the moment. Those are NFTs I can sell to other players. Uh, one actually is up for sale just now. I sold a couple more last night. Um, again, you could buy these and hold these. Um, that's not my strategy. Well, that could work. That's not what I plan to do for this case study. So there are two strategies we're looking at and it's really gonna depend how the market moves over the next couple of days. So I set my account up a couple of days ago. I've spent a wee bit of time getting an understanding of the game and a rough plan for the strategy. And my plan is to take you guys through the case study. So I'm gonna track everything I buy, everything I sell. And I've actually spent more of my time on uh, spreadsheets like this than I have in the game itself. So I've worked out a rough plan of what I'm going to do and I'm going to share with you guys either we're going to make a whole bunch of money or, or I'm going to burn my entire investment and uh, I'll try and get it on camera when I tell my girlfriend that I lost $3,000 playing cryptocurrency Pokemon. So while I do joke about the, the risk of the investment here, I should point out this is money I am absolutely prepared to lose. That's my approach with any investment, especially when it's cryptocurrency. But there are reasons that I chose to get involved in Axie and there are reasons that I am bullish on the project. Um, now, the NFT market has been growing now for a while. Um, you could argue if it's a bubble, you could argue that it's just the start of something much bigger. I'm not really gonna weigh in on that. I don't have a clue. But I do have reasons to think that Axie still has a lot of room to grow. I understand the place of NFTs in gaming. If you look at something like Fortnite, you have people getting spending billions of dollars on digital cosmetic items. If you bring NFTs to that, so rather than just giving a company uh, the money for their game, if you then own the item which can be sold and traded there's an argument that players would want that. And on top of that, we have this play to earn idea. Imagine if kids were getting paid money to play Fortnite. I mean, I can only imagine how much more they'd be playing. Um, we don't know where that market's going to go. We don't know how sustainable it's going to be, but NFTs give us that option. And Axie has a good early movers advantage. And they're one of the more published uh, polished games in that area. They're not the only one, but I had a look at a couple and Axie is definitely the one I can I could kind of get behind. Um, the growth over the last couple of months um, has been um, insane. Uh, we have a new story here, actually. Um, yeah, they're targeting $1 billion revenue and uh, that that is definitely potentially possible if you look at the recent numbers. I think they traded over $50 million in a month um, don't quote me on that, but it, it's insane. So I can see this project growing. Um, obviously, I hope it does because my investment will grow with it, but we'll see. And if it fails, I will be perfectly happy to also show you how it fails. So uh, you can check the follow-up videos. I'll put everything in a playlist and we'll take it step by step. I'll show you uh, some of the mistakes I made on my first day and um what I'm planning to do going forwards, what I paid, what I made, um, and you guys can follow along and we'll see what happens.